Today, Tennessee Governor Billy revealed his thoughts on a potential education voucher program throughout the state. And the program likely to cause heavy discussion at the next Tennessee General Assembly. A school voucher program gives family taxpayer money to send their children to private or home school. In Governor Bill Lee's plan, up to about 20,000 students would receive just over $7,000 to attend any private school in the 2024-25 school year. Next year, eligibility would expand to every student in the state. News Channel 11 Jayana Scurry spoke with local education leaders today about the potential effects the program would have in our region. Sarah, Casey, head of schools at both Ashley Academy and Providence Academy are excited about the potential opportunity for school voucher programs to be expanded to every county. I think for us it's always been an opportunity for us to say uh, choice. Ramona Har, the head of school for Ashley Academy, says the Education Freedom Scholarship Act would be beneficial to expand more learning opportunities for more students in our area. Parents have a chance to make a decision about their child's education. Um, we um, have always felt like we've been a part of, especially our area, that we are a choice for families uh, to whether it's a, a public or a private, and it's not a competition. We're excited that taxpayers are gonna have the freedom to choose where their tax dollars are spent. Ben Holland, head of school for Providence Academy, says every kid is different and needs education that fits their needs. Families know that each of their kid needs a different educational opportunity and which school is going to serve their child best. I think parents are the most equipped to make that decision. Har says they're able to specialize in individual hands-on learning. Even from a mathematical standpoint, we're building things in our applied learning class. We're studying Jamestown in fourth grade. We're building the fort that's out here and it's still up. It's really making sure that there is a hands-on component to the instruction that's going on in the classroom. Both Ashley and Providence Academies already have financial assistance for students. But still for those families, it's a struggle uh, because there's still some money that they have to pay. And then there's those families that are right on that bubble that this extra money would be able to make it a feasible opportunity uh, for them to access the type of education that they want for their child. If the Education Freedom Scholarship Act is passed, 20,000 scholarships would be granted during the 2024-25 school year. Jayana, thanks. And education leaders from all over the state are responding to how this new program may affect education. Tanya Coates, the Tennessee Education Association president, expressed concern for public schools, saying in part, quote, fewer students and less funding will put beloved neighborhood schools at risk for closure, end quote.